Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode... Wait, what is this? This is an episode of LP. Well, technically it is. This is a bonus episode for Ocarina of Time. I promised to make these bonus episodes a while ago, and um, I decided to finally follow through on my promise to you, so here's the first of several bonus episodes that I planned out. I said which episodes I'm going to do, like what I'm going to do in the bonus episodes in a previous video. I'm not sure which one that was, but... I don't think it really matters anymore. Okay, so without further ado, so that we don't run out of time, because I've tried this before, failed, and I ran out of time, um, I'm just going to get on with this. We're going to do, in this episode, the Gossip Stones of Ocarina of Time. Basically, um, once you get the Mask of Truth after completing the Mask side quest, which is assigned to my C left there, um, you can talk to each Gossip Stone... Sh oh my god, Navi. Okay. You can talk to each Gossip Stone in Hyrule, and they will each tell you a little bit of unique information about the game. Uh, that it can sometimes be useful, but more than often it's really just kind of pointless and random, but I figure, hey, it's kind of interesting, why not show it off? Alright, so I have all the locations here written down for me. There are 29 in total. So, uh, here we go, let's just get started with these four right outside the Temple of Time. Responding to your mask, this strange stone statue talks to you. I overheard this. They all say that, so I'm probably just going to skip that text with future ones, so, yeah. They say that Malon's at the original record in the obstacle course of Lon Lon Ranch. That's cool. Not surprising, either. Okay. They say that Malon of Lon Lon Ranch hopes a knight in shining armor will come and sweep her off her feet someday. Mmm. Well, Malon, that's great. I'm not trying to make anything perverted of that. They say that it is against the rules to use glasses in the treasure chest shop in Hyrule Castle Town Market. Yeah, that's why I didn't use glasses or a uh, looking glass, as it were. Okay. They say that the Gerudos sometimes come to Hyrule Castle Town to look for boyfriends. No comment. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna meet you at the next one, which is outside of Hyrule Castle. I will see you in a second. Alright guys, for the first Gossip Stone of Hyrule Castle, you want to climb up this vine here, and it's just going to be right in your face here. So let's go ahead and talk to it. Here we go. Uh, yeah. They say that if you get close to a butterfly while holding a Deku stick in your hands, something good will happen. Oh yeah, I never actually showed that off in my LP, did I? Um, Basically, that's just... It, I've never got to work, actually, but if you approach a patch of butterflies with, your, with a Deku stick outheld, then one of them could land on your stick and turn into a fairy. It's kind of interesting. I might show that off in another bonus episode, but uh, not right now. Like, there's butterflies right here. I could try it out on them, but I'm not going to. Alright, the other gossip zone is not too far now, so I might as well just leave it in here. Oh, God. I say that too much. I just say, oh, God, randomly. Just like, what the heck? What, what's up with that? I don't know. Okay, so the second gossip stone, the last gossip stone near Hyrule Castle is right here, so let's check it out. Alright. They say that, contrary to her elegant image, Princess Zelda of Hyrule Castle is, in fact, a tomboy. Go figure, look at that. Learn something new every day, don't you? Alright. The next one is going to be in Hyrule Field. Uh, where in Hyrule Field? I'm not entirely sure myself, but I'll try and find it. Okay, see you in just a second. Okay, guys, it turns out there are actually technically two Gossip Stones in Hyrule Field. I thought there was just one, but, well, technically this one doesn't count as a Hyrule Field one, but, anyways, over to the left side, or, I guess, right side, depending on what perspective you're thinking of, of Castle Town, there is a hole here, which is under a bumble rock. Fall down it, and there will be a Gossip Stone here. So we're just going to go ahead and talk to that one. Alright, and they say that that the horse Ganondorf rides as a solid black Gerudo stallion. That's, yeah, that's a pretty epic horse. I like it. I wish I had that horse in real life. Oh well. But yeah, that's technically not a Hyrule Field one because, um, there are several holes throughout the game that have gossip stones in them. That, bleh, that was a, just a word jumble there. That have gossip stones in them. Um, that all say that exact same thing. That Ganondorf rides a black stallion. And you can find those holes in uh, Hyrule Field, The Lost Woods, Kakariko Village, Death Mountain, Death Mountain Crater, and Zora's River. 
All right, I'm going to cut to the next one in the Hyrule Field. See you in just a second. Okay, cutting in now. There is a ring of stones here outside of the entrance to uh, Gerudo Valley. And we've been down here before. There was a gold sculpture down here. Watch it go boom! But yeah, there was a gold sculpture down here. But there was also a gossip stone that we couldn't talk to at the time. So go ahead and use Din's fire to open it up to us. Uh, yeah. There you go. Oh! Okay, this is something that I wanted to show too. Um, yeah, if you hit it with Din's fire, like, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, just hit it with Din's fire. Then, uh, basically that happens. It just kind of spins around and goes. It goes It goes pretty crazy. That's basically the best way of describing it. Alright, here we go. They say that there's a switch that you can activate only by using this spin attack. Uh, was that in the Spirit Temple? I think that's where it was. But yeah. There's also actually quite a few other things that you can hit uh, Gossip Stone with that will cause very strange reactions, but I'm going to cover those um, at the end of this video or at the end of the next video, depending on if this takes two parts or not. Okay, so yeah, that's it for Hyrule Fields Gossip Stones here. So we're just going to go ahead and move on to, um, looks like Kokiri Forest. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay guys, this isn't exactly Kokiri Forest, this is a Sacred Forest Meadow, but since I just warped here to access Kokiri Forest quicker, I might as well just show off these ones in the Sacred Forest Meadow as well as the Lost Woods. Okay, they say that it's possible to find a total of 100 gold sculptures throughout Hyrule. Yeah, and I found them all, bitches! Take that. Didn't even have to use a guide or anything. Right, uh, there's two more in the Sacred Forest Meadow here, and then there's gonna be one in Lost Woods, so... I'm probably just going to cut to those, or actually, I think the ones in the Sacred Forest Meadow are pretty close together, so there's really no point in cutting. Yeah, based on the time I'm at right now, seven minutes looks like. Uh, this is going to take quite a while to, um, this might take two parts, I don't know, we'll see. Okay. They say that the, that the strange owl, Kapor Gabora, may look big and heavy, but his character is rather light-hearted. Yeah. He, he means well. He's just annoying as fuck. God, sorry for cussing. I always apologize for that, but most people are used to it anyways. Okay. They say that the owl named Kapor Gabor is the reincarnation of an, agent, of an ancient sage. Hmm. I wonder what sage that might be. The sage of wind? I don't know. That seems most likely, but we don't know of any sage of wind. Anyways, uh, go into the Lost Woods one. Alright, we're back, and the Gossip Stone in the Lost Woods is a little bit hidden, not too bad, but come over to near where the Skull Kid is, take this path over to where the bridge is, or the Magic Bean, whatever, however you remember this area, hop down here, and uh, around here somewhere, I think the, the end here, yeah, there's the Gossip Stone up there. Jeez, I see that was hidden, I thought it was more hidden than that, oh well. There's one that's really hidden that we'll be seeing pretty soon here. They say that when non-fairy folk enter the Lost Woods, they become monsters. Yep, all will become Stalfos. That's not the exact quote, I don't think, but... God, that little girl was creepy. Gave me nightmares. Gave me horrible, horrible dreams. Oh, the humanity! Alright, next one. The Gossip Stone in K Kokiri Forest, I was about to say Kakariko Forest is right outside the entrance to the Lost Woods here. This is the only one in Kokiri Forest, by the way, so here we go. They say that the small coals in the ground that you can find all over Hyrule make perfect breeding ground for bugs. Yeah, so if you're ever in need of bugs for that magic bean side quest or whatever, then go ahead and fall down a hole. You know, it's not dangerous at all. You're not going to break your legs. No, because this is Nintendo. All right, uh, the next two are in are near the Great Deku Tree, so even though it's kind of pointless, I'm just going to cut there. Just a second. Alright guys, at the Great Deku Tree now, um, both of the Gossip Stones here are actually pretty hidden. They're kind of cryptic to find. It's kind of interesting how they make, like, the two most hidden Gossip Stones in the, basically the very first area, the most simple area of the game, but yeah. This one's not too bad, it's just over to the left of the Deku Tree, behind one of its roots here, and... They say that the Kokiri are always followed by small fairies. Cool. Cool stuff. Alright, now the next one. Like, 
if you just come here and take a quick glance around, you're probably just only going to find that one. For the, to find the second gossip stone here, it really requires you to be absolutely hell-bent on finding them. Or finding secrets, depending on which one. Whatever. Okay, so climb up this route, um, and don't fall off. Sorry about that. Oh my goodness, ten minutes already. Well, thank goodness the ten limit time in, time limit isn't in effect, eh? All right, there we go. Hop across that, hop down here, and now it's basically just a matter of walking a complete loop around the Deku tree here. I might speed this up or something just for the sake of time. If it is, then I should start talking slowly now so that you can understand me. Oh my goodness, it's taking so long to find this freaking gossip stone. Oh, I can't walk over that one. I'll just have to backflip over it. And, okay, here's the gossip stone, guys. Uh, now I'm probably going to have to speed that up because I was talking so slowly, but oh well. Alright, you better have something good to say. Here we go. They say that one Kokiri has left the forest, but he is still alive. Oh my gosh. Well, that can't be me because I'm a Hylian, says the little Deku Tree Sprout. Anywho, um, I'm probably just going to cut to the le next location now, I suppose. Which will be, let me just check my little list here. Uh, Death Mountain Cliff. What does that even mean? I don't know. I'll fi we'll figure it out once we get there. So, off to Death Mountain I go. Just see you in a second. Okay, guys, I warped to the graveyard here, because it's basically the closest you can get to Death Mountain as a kid with warps. Um... But I then I realized that there's actually a Gossip Stone right outside the Shadow Temple here. This is basically the only one in Kakariko slash Graveyard area, so here we go. They say that there's a secret near a tree in, Kek in Kakariko Village. Um, I'm not sure which tree they're talking about. I don't think it's a very important secret either. It might be a hard piece. Of, I don't know. I did it in my LP at some point, I'm sure, so go look that up if you want. Anyways, to Death Mountain. Alright guys, on my way up Death Mountain, I take I figured it'd take a quick little stop here in Dodonglu's Cavern. Uh, brings back memories, doesn't it? But, um, if you have a really good memory, you might remember at one point in my LP, there was actually a Gossip Stone that you could see inside of here. Yes, inside of Dodonglu's Cavern. There's only this one, so don't worry, you don't have to like scour the entire dungeon for more, but here we go. They say that Gerudos worship Ganondorf almost like a god. Well, I'd want to be worshipped like that too if I were the only man born in my society like every hundred years or whatever it is. Jeez. I'm still Ganondorf. Well, Ganondorf's Ganondorf, so. Anyways, uh, back to trekking up Death Mountain in just a second. 